a scientist and I'm conducting a science experiment. Here we have one fat person and one skinny person. Now who would like some milkshake and ice cream? Oh, me please, I love ice cream and I love milkshakes. I have one every day. I cannot wait to have this lovely milkshake and ice cream. Here we go, two ice creams. Oh my god, thank you so much for this lovely ice cream. Oh, thank you so much. Yum, yum, yum. This is so good. Thank you so much. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that very unhealthy and very fattening ice cream. Now it's time for the milkshakes. Oh no, that's so sus. I'm on a diet and I just ate something very fattening. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. Oh well, now that I've eaten that, I might as well eat as much as I can get. Yum, I can't wait. Thank you so much. Thank you, this looks very yummy. Well, if you want any more ice cream, you're going to have to go to the ice cream truck across the road. Oh, but I don't want to go all the way to that ice cream truck. Yum, I can't wait to go to the ice cream truck. Give me as many ice creams as you're allowed to give me, please. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm so full. Thank you so much. This science experiment tells us that overweight people will eat more food if it's there, but if it's not, the, the skinnier people are more likely to go and get the food. When the person on a diet ate the unhealthy food and they found out it was fattening, they still ate more fattening food. Why do you think this is? I think it's because they've already ate the unhealthy stuff and they might as well eat the rest of it. Thank you so much for telling us your thoughts and opinions on this, Blake. You're so smart and intelligent and also handsome. Make sure to like, share and subscribe if you think Blake is so smart.